And so the analogy goes like this. So if you are going to open up a, a subway branch and you're going to be the quote unquote owner operator of the uh, local subway branch, you can do that and you can put your name on that franchise. But if you uh, don't follow every single subway bylaw and the franchise finds out about it, they can take the entire company out from underneath you. And so what the legal person is, it, it is a corporation, a business that is founded with the, the incorporating documents of your social security number and your birth certificate. And it's literally the same thing as opening a local franchise of the corporate government. And so by doing that, by using that entity, we are implying our consent with the uh, jurisdictional statutory law that goes along with that. And so <clears throat> the beautiful thing about the trust is that it is something that we create of ourselves. We are living sovereign human beings who create this other entity of ourself, which the analogy would be, this is you opening up your own uh, farm to table sandwich shop that's, you know, primo ingredients, all organic. Subway would have no right to tell you what you can do or can't do in that entity. And that's the same thing as the trust. It is completely separate from the statutory rules and regulations of, you know, Subway, the corporate government. And uh, it allows you to have full freedom and full control over what you're doing without implying consent to the tax liabilities, to the statutory codes that, uh, you know, are ever increasing every single day.